Where would you place Brady if you could? If you were the commissioner, where would be the best place for Brady? If I was the commissioner, if I'm Goodell saying, okay, I need to get something going and kickstart a franchise, I'm sending him right to L.A. and I'm putting him with Anthony Lynn and saying, I don't know if you guys know each other, but the Chargers, <laughs> we we need some buzz right now because with Rivers gone and we're opening a new stadium with the Rams and we're going to be tenants, it sure helps us to have Tom Brady on the billboard rather than Tyrod Taylor. I just don't see if that's necessarily happening. That's my problem with this Brady stuff. Everyone I'm talking to is saying that he might be on the move, but no one is courageous enough to put it to a team. So whereas the Tennessee thing might make sense on paper, and you're like, all right, John Robinson, the GM of the Titans, was with New England when they had Brady, and they brought him in the building, and Vrabel, and they've got Malcolm Butler and Deion Lewis, and there's all these connections to the New England Patriots. I, I can't tell you on the record or on your show that I have heard anyone from Tennessee who I know very well, that whole organization, or anyone from the Brady camp say, yep, that's right, that's it, go that way. So Tennessee seems like a logical place, but I've seen Peyton Manning be linked to the Miami Dolphins for an entire offseason and end up as a Denver Bronco. Yeah. So I will not put my name on anything yet as this thing is just unfolding. One note, Don Yee, who is the longtime agent of Tom Brady, all the agents were here. As of yesterday, I hadn't seen Don here, so I don't even know if he's on the ground talking to these teams or you know, whatever legal, you can't do it because of tampering, but at least having a, a, a cocktail with some of these teams. I haven't seen Don yet, so I don't know if those conversations are even being had. Yeah, if I'm Brady's agent, I'm not going to the combine. If I, if I want to talk to a team, I just call them. I, I don't want to do something where somebody goes, hey, I saw – it's like when Brady was there with Mark Davis in Vegas, and everybody went, oh, my God, they're gonna, the Raiders are going to sign Tom Brady. I, you just don't want that guilt by association of somebody reading something into it. And and I, I agree with you. It feels like if New England was going to get something done, get something done before free agency, unless they really want to roll the dice and say, let's see who's really interested in what they'll pay you. Or does Belichick actually have plan B already in place in his mind? Yeah. And is that playing with fire? Like, that's the whole thing, because if it was Garoppolo or even Brissett sitting there waiting, I'd say, okay, well, I get it. Or if he had a free agent quarterback with some history that he's had with him, like, he's never worked with Bridgewater. He's never worked with Dalton. He's never worked with these guys. So to say that, oh, well, you know, there's a backup plan, and let's see, let's let Tom Brady test the market. It, there's Garoppolo has not been in training. He's no longer there right now. So it's Jared Stidham, and with one year in the system, and Stidham played against the Jets, I think, for a hot minute threw a pick six, and they put Brady right back in that game. I'm not, I'm not so necessarily sure that's the wisest move. And yet, the Patriots, this could just be a rebuild if he goes somewhere else because McCourty's a free agent, Matt Slater's a free agent, Kyle Van Noy's a free agent, Edelman's not getting any younger. Maybe this is how it ends. I, it never ends pretty. Very rarely do you get the stray hand, Elway, Jerome Bettis, go out on top thing. But, gosh, would it be weird if Tom Brady's last game as a Patriot was a loss to the Ryan Tannehill-led Titans in Foxborough. And an interception pick six. Yeah. Isn't that weird? It doesn't feel right. It didn't feel like that was it. But who knows? This is what a great offseason this is. And I say great because it's great for me and you. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's great for everyone else, but there is real intrigue. And it's not, hey, where's Melvin Gordon going to sign? And no offense to Melvin Gordon, but it's not some running back. It's not Le'Veon Bell. This is maybe the greatest player we've ever seen. And there's actual intrigue and there's actual confusion as to where he's going to be playing in a month. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.